So we have uh, our electrical wirings now. It's, you can see here, there is uh, the wires sticking out. There, there for the dishwasher. This is for the oven. This is for the ventilation. And then we have the lights for the roof. Yep, right there. You see all these little snakes wires coming down. And yes, so anyways, we are slowly building the walls here. These are gypsum blocks and the wires have been covered. They, they go through the ground. It's very cool how everything is organized from here it continues and from up there you see the wires are going all the way so i'll show you more updates so i had a friend here who's a lawyer and he was telling me that the administration does not want to understand that this is a which means that i'm the owner and i can change any of the walls the partition walls that i want right they do not have the right to tell me to not do this anyways uh, we are going forward with our project Tomorrow I have an engineer who will come and certify that I can make a small hole in this wall for our second bathroom. Here will be our second bathroom. So I'm very happy. My friends checked it out. I think it's a great first project. We will probably have a air conditioner in this window or maybe on the floor. So yeah, we got all the project stuff. It's our uh, gyps. So this is for the plaster, I think, on the walls. And this will be for the doors. It's kind of like a brick with some cement inside. And yeah. I think it looks so much better after we removed the, the steel bars. Yeah, we were thinking to have the air conditioner somewhere here. Take the line, put it inside. And from inside, from here, it will come out and we will have an air conditioner right there. You know what was funny? To see like when they are using these, these little devices. And it looks very cool because it shows you if it's straight. You see that little thing? If it's, if it's not straight, it will the bubble will go somewhere else. It has to be very straight. The water I mean, if you see it this way, it has to be something like that. So, yeah, very cool. In the same way. So these are the tools that they did not have before. And the walls were a bit not straight. We will have the internet right there on the top. So this is the second flat. From here, we take the electrics up there. And today we had made a cut here. So we know the line of bricks between two structural walls. I was thinking if I should connect the ventilation to the other bathroom, but that seems a little bit too much because they will hear each other fart and it will probably smell bad. I'm not sure. Pretty safe at this point. I don't have too many worries. I think you just have to continue. And um, also, I do feel like we need an air conditioner. It is getting quite hot. I don't like it. And I want to get premium rents and give an amazing offer to whoever is living here. But anyways, as you see, every little hardship can be overcome with time and uh, ingenuity and connections and knowledge. Gotta continue. We did not stress out too much, went with the flow. Today I met a guy who is basically a guy from Iran and he was looking for work. I thought he was an investor, but he was just looking for work. To make it easier for me, because I don't have much time to dedicate to a lot of stuff right now. There's a lot of projects that's going on. I just told him to come meet me at the uh, renovation site. And as you can see, it's been going forward quite well. So we have our walls, we have closed the bathroom wall, and there's already a flatter wall here. We got the wall that separates the bedroom. There's gonna be the bed there, wardrobe, and there's gonna be a couch. So this is built, that wall we already plastered. These ones are plastered now. That's where the door used to be. Anyways, I wanted to tell the story that I felt really humbled today. So this guy came from um, Iran with his wife. After, imagine he's like 40, 50. He was asking me for work and I felt so... There's no words to describe it. It's like you're coming from a country where you used to be the king and now you have to just accept that that is not your life anymore. And you just have to go to the bare minimum and get any job just to get your life to keep going. Because he can't even move his money outside of Iran because of the problem. So that made me feel really humbled in a way and thankful for my life. And also, I will do the same. I will go to any level, any level that I need to go to, to get myself higher in life. You guys can hear the, the drilling right now. But yeah, I thought life was hard for me, but it's not true. Let me show you what they're doing over here. You think that's a cake, but it's not. That's not cake, we're not making cakes. This is a 
put the cement for the wall. We're gonna put it all the way up there. А ты, ты знаешь, почему вы используете это? А без этого как будет? Хуево. Будет. Здесь больше услуг. А, понял, понял, понял. Это чтобы сделать одну площину. А туда мы делаем, чтобы была крепче стена. Okay, so now I understand. I didn't know this, but the walls are not always straight. So we use this so that when it goes inside the knife, we know how much to fill between the, the gaps. This little um, rod that you see that goes up there. So, yeah, for this wall, we're just putting it to make it stronger because here we have a very thin wall. It's called, made of gypsum, gypsum blocks. They're quite cheaper than normal blocks. Or they're more expensive, sorry. So here, everywhere is straight. As you can see, there's no space between. So there we have it. It's straight. Great. Well, this is the update. We're gonna install these. These are the installations. We're gonna put it behind this wall. So it's gonna be more acoustic insulation. And this laser is also helping.